<laughs> today, we're good today. You know, I, I, I guess I'm impressed with our players. You know, it was a tough loss. We came back with a good attitude. We've worked hard. I think we've improved on the practice field. And uh, I'm, we're excited about playing at home, you know, to be gone four out of the last five weeks. It's great to be back home and go through our Friday routine and, and uh, not have to travel. So I think everyone's fired up to play homecoming game at home. You had mentioned that it looked like when Will came in, his timing was a little bit better. Have you seen that continue throughout practice this week? He has, yeah. Yeah, I think we've gotten better in our um, passing game. It seems like our receivers are on time, our quarterback's been on time, working hard on the protection part of it. So, you know, we're, we're continually working to get better at it. But uh, I guess we'll find out here on Saturday. How does the quarterback take that conversation about who plays who starts? Good. You know, I, I think one of the most impressive things was Saturday at the game when Will wasn't in, how much he supported Reggie, how much he was into it and doing a great job on the sideline. And then when Will went in, how much Reggie supported Will and how into it he was on the sideline. And it just showed that you got two great team players that are awesome leaders. How has uh, Devontae responded this week? Good, good. He, he, uh, I'm knocking on wood here, but uh, he looks like he might be available to go. So uh, he practiced all three days. He looked good out there tonight, so I'm excited about it. And, you know, we we'll list him as questionable, but uh, I think he's ready to go. You had said last week that um, going through that FIU game, you felt like you're starting to get into a groove a little bit with the will in the passing game. What were some of those things that you guys noticed that you were starting to pick up on that maybe you lost by getting hurt and then you kind of rebuild that again? Yeah, a lot of it's just the timing, you know, the timing of when the quarterback sets and ready to throw the ball and when the receiver's at the top of his route ready to come out of the break. Um, the biggest difference for Will and Reggie than high school football is that you have to throw the ball before the guy's open. You've got to anticipate it, and the holes are small, and they close quickly. So that's kind of what we're really c concentrating and working on is being able to throw the ball open. Or sometimes we tell them you have to throw the receiver open. You know, there's going to be tight coverage. He's going to be covered, and you have to put, be able to put the ball on his left ear or his right shoulder and throw the receiver open. Well, I think uh, defensively being able to handle their defensive front, you know, they've been very active. There's some games where they've really, really rushed the quarterback and, and have done a really good job of it. And then we've got to be able to recognize their formations and the different things they do, the different uh, personnel groups that they utilize and, you know, stop the run on, on first and 10. I think that's a big challenge for our defense. What's the loss of Corbin? It hurts us a lot just because you have elite speed out there. You know, a guy who did a great job on our coverage and in the punt team, and obviously we saw the touchdown he scored on the kickoff return. So we lose a real, real fast player, and uh, he was always, you know, gave us energy on special teams. Might seem like a silly question, but how does the changing weather when it gets colder and it gets a little bit rainier here does that affect you guys at all, or, or impact what you do? I think it helps. I think it helps our players, you know, feel fresher. It helps when the weather changes and you're out there and it's cool air. You, you seem to practice harder and faster. You know, that was always one of the concerns when you had an August that was so cool and the month of September then all of a sudden became so hot was making sure you don't leave it on the practice field. You know, you don't wear them down on the practice field. So really what it does, it allows you to get more reps in and, and practice harder. So. I have always liked it. I think we've always gotten better when the weather cools down. If you do get Devontae back, what, what can you expect the first game out, or, what, or how will you kind of manage his reps? Yeah, we'll have to manage him and, and make sure that, you know, he's in there when we run the ball, he's in there when we throw the ball, and, and uh, you know, just get him into the game and give him some opportunities. All right. Thanks, Coach. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Coach.